Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the uh, Weather Now link on this late Friday evening. This discussion will be a little bit longer than usual, only because we do have a high-impact storm on the way, specifically for Sunday night into very early on, uh, on Monday morning. So a lot to cover, and you'll certainly want to stay tuned to further forecasts over the next couple of days. But here's how it breaks down. On our threat tracker, just kind of a quick graphical look as to um, how the things play out. Uh, Saturday looks fine. It's actually a pretty comfortable day. And at least the daylight hours of Sunday, not bad. They'll start to see some rain showers later in the afternoon. But the, the worst of the weather, and this is going to be like a spring-like storm. It's not a winter storm. Um, the heaviest of the rain, thunderstorms, and strongest wind gusts, damaging wind, is Sunday night early, very early, pre-dawn Monday morning, especially uh, late on Sunday night. Heavy rain on the order of, we're thinking, one to two inches. Uh, strong wind gusts out of the south over 50 miles per hour. I would say there's at least a moderate risk of scattered power outages, and we'll cover that in more detail in just a second. So here's sort of the um, uh, what to expect here. The, the southerly wind gusts uh, over 50 miles per hour, scattered outages possible. Uh, that heavy rainfall, somewhere an inch, inch and a half, but they'll be localized two-inch amounts as well. Also, the strong onshore winds during the high tide cycle, specifically early on Monday morning, there is a coastal flood watch, potential for some coastal flooding. You definitely want to secure some of these uh, holiday decorations uh, before this storm settles in. So we're going to take a look at the satellite, and you can see what's developing across the, the Mississippi Valley and the Central Plains. doesn't look like much, but all of this will intensify as it approaches our area coming up on Sunday night. So let me take you into Saturday morning, uh, which really looks like a nice day for a couple of reasons. One, it's dry. Two, the temperatures are pretty nice at 53. Uh, we'll see clouds increasing in the afternoon, but staying dry. All right, strong cold front. An area of low pressure is going to form on this front and intensify and head our way. So when we jump ahead to Sunday morning at around... 8 a.m. Well, for one, look how mild the temperature is. It's up to 50. Notice the precipitation expanding in coverage. You can see this little faint red L developing storm on this cold front. And as we advance the map to Sunday, like late day towards sunset, we already have showers working into the area. Look at the temperature, unseasonably warm at 62. This is the cold front, and there's the storm developing along it. It's right in here towards the mid-Atlantic state Sunday evening. This uh, Heavy thunder and rain and wind, and that's all sliding in our direction during late Sunday night. I know this doesn't look like much. Now, this is midnight Sunday night. Um, where's my pointer? This red strip right in here is like a squall line. This is very um, heavy rain, thunderstorms, and strong wind. And look, that line is, is pretty much passing through between 5, 6, 7 a.m. on Monday ahead of this cold front. Very windy downpours and some damaging wind. Um, I tell you what, I mean, you know, these kids heading out to school uh, on early on Monday morning, this is this may be tricky here. It's something that we're going to need to keep an eye on. It could, we could very well have some, you know, power lines dangling and some tree limbs down during this time when, when, when you're heading out to work on Monday and kids are heading off to school. So you really want to uh, pay attention to further forecasts as to how this plays out, again, Sunday night, early Monday morning. All right, potential wind gusts. Uh, and again, I keep stressing late Sunday night, early Monday morning. You know, areas in red south and east of the Route 95 corridor may be gusting. Now, these are not sustained. These are gusts, 50 to 65 miles per hour. Area in yellow, 45 to 50, and then diminishing winds the further west you go. 45 to 50 can certainly cause some wind damage, but wind damage is likely when you get into this 50 to 65 range. So uh, damage and some scattered outages are quite possible, especially in these areas that are shaded in red. So at this point, I would, I would certainly call it a, uh, a moderate risk of scattered outages uh, late Sunday night, pre-dawn on Monday, and some of these strong wind gusts out of the south. A coastal flood watch. Uh, during the high tide cycle early on, on Monday morning, potential for coastal flooding. Now, it's not just the south shore. It's communities within Narragansett Bay as well. So, of course, you can see the south shore is under that. Where was my arrow? Is under that flood watch, but even these communities up within Narragansett Bay, the strong, uh, you know, the water being pushed up the bay, there may be some uh, minor to moderate coastal flooding during that high tide cycle early on uh, on Monday morning. You're gonna want to certainly check in with TJ 
uh, early on Monday morning on 12 News. As of as of now, as of what time is it? Almost 10 o'clock Friday evening. The flood watch does not include our area. That's not to say it won't get expanded, you know, over Rhode Island and southeastern Mass. We're indicating the potential for one to two inches of rain. This is where the weather service currently has the um, the flood watch, and with good reason because we feel as though the heaviest rain is going to be out in here. But we could see some certainly some some flooding in our area locally in, in some of this heavier rain. So something that we'll need to keep an eye on. And more than likely, the National Weather Service will be updating the watches and the advisories and the warnings uh, sometime on Saturday. So we want to check in with um, with Steve in the morning and Katie in the evening, see how that plays out. Saturday morning looks great. It's probably the brightest part of the day. It's already 51 at 11 a.m. During the afternoon, it's clouding up, but it's dry. It's comfortable. I mean, you know, 53 in early December, uh, that is, um, that's pretty comfortable. And great news on the Army-Navy game at Foxborough. Couldn't ask for better football weather. It's cool, but it's not cold. Uh, clouding up, but it will stay dry. Kickoff is at um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, seven-day forecast, and it clearly shows uh, your stormy weather for Sunday night and into Monday morning. It'll actually clear out. Uh, Monday afternoon with some sunshine. That 57 degrees on Monday is probably at around sunrise during Monday afternoon. It will start to cool down. So bottom line, uh, you're going to want to check back with um, further forecasts over the next couple of days, but high confidence here of some pretty stormy weather in that Sunday night, Monday morning time frame.